Hello, my name is Max. This short tutorial is about the uh, new feature that we have added in the last version of Unreal Media Server in the version 12. And this new feature is streaming to HTML5 player. So as you know, Flash player is fading out. Uh, some browsers are going to prohibit or completely disable Flash players. So it's time to probably to start switching to HTML5. So we have added a new ability to stream to HTML5 uh, players. So if you have your regular uh, broadcasts um, configured to encode H.264 and AAC, those broadcasts will seamlessly play in HTML5 player, just like they play in Flash player. So let me show you the easiest way of creating a HTML5 player. So you need to copy the HTML5, the web page that runs HTML5 player from either from our demo page, this web page, or from our SDK. Download the SDK and it has many uh, sample web pages hosting single HTML5 player or multiple HTML5 players. But let's just go and use this use this web page. So currently it, it's streaming from our uh, demo server, streaming from California. So what you want to do is just copy the source to your hard drive, modify modify uh, IP address and port and the alias of your live broadcast and host it under your uh, web server. So let's do view source. And as you can see, you need to use those scripts. This, uh, this JavaScript is our HTML5 player and there's CSS file. You can copy this local uh, to your local web server you don't need to load it from umediaserver.net. So here is the player. And you initialize it like that here. All the parameters are explained. So you just need to modify the IP address, the port, and the alias of your live broadcast. And other parameters. This parameter tells you how uh, how long your local uh, local buffer, the browser-based buffer, will be. Let me show you in a minute what I'm talking about. So I've already modified that. I've created a web page, put it under my web server. You cannot load this web page from your hard drive. You need to put it under your web server. So I already did that, and I have here this. GeoVision, GeoVision uh, RTSP camera. Let's play it first with our player. GeoVision. Okay, that's the RTSP camera. It's watching me to record this tutorial as usual. Let's do it. That's my web server. And you can see this is HTML5 player. So the same web page that I showed you before just uses my uh, IP address of my server, my the GeoVision alias. So here is the HTML5 player, and this is our player. You can see that the latency in the HTML5 player is just a little bit higher. Uh, 
All right. So if your video feed is H.264 and AAC encoded, and the keyframe frequency is one second or two seconds, don't make it uh, higher. You really need probably one second keyframe frequency. Then your video feed is going to play in uh, any browser in HTML5 uh, player just fine. So any browser, any operating system. Uh, the only exception, unfortunately, as of today, is uh, iPhones, uh, iPads, iOS devices do not support the media source extensions, this, this player. So, as of today, iOS is not supported. Hopefully, very soon, they will add the same support. So now, let me tell you about the same parameter that I was uh, talking before, this one, uh, one minute. So, as you can see, this uh, local slider allows you to seek it has one minute of last uh, last played media you can seek back and see what happened before but only for one minute uh, one minute you can set it to higher value maybe 10 minutes but uh, you cannot have more than 10 minutes in the local buffer. Actually, realistic value is going to be probably 5 minutes for HD content. Uh, so this is again, this is just local buffer in, the, in, the, in, in your browser. So what if you need a higher, you know, bigger buffer? If you need a bigger buffer, then we have this feature in the server named time shift so you can create let's start buffering for time shifted playback let's say you want one hour you want to see what happened within one hour okay let's start it So give it 15 seconds. So meanwhile, I'm going to show you that we have added the uh, SSL ability to connect through secure socket in this version. So you can do the same same web sockets with secure uh, secure web sockets. However, for secure web sockets, you will need to install a real SSL certificate. So the media server comes with test certificate. Uh, this test certificate is going to work just fine with uh, our own player. So you can stream via HTTPS. But this test certificate is not going to work for web sockets because browsers do validation of this certificate so you need to install a real certificate um, all right so let's see buffering see buffering is in progress so what happens if now we start we start so as you can see there is already a minute and 27 seconds in the buffer so we did 60 minutes. So this buffer is going to grow till 60 minutes. And you can, you know, go back, go one hour back. Now this, when I'm seeking now, this is not using a client-side buffer, uh, client-side buffer in the browser. This is not using browser data at all. It's going to a server, fetching data from the server every time you do you do seek. So you can, you know, go back and switch, switch to real. Okay, that was probably it about the HTML5 player. Thank you for watching.